For CNC controlled inspection devices, Power Inspect allows us to simulate the inspection before it is executed on the machine. Simulation helps to ensure pro paths and intermediary link moves are safe to run on the machine. We access this on the Run tab. Clicking the Run All Items simulates the inspection program being executed on the machine. We can identify any problems in the pro path before running the inspection sequence on a measuring device. This way you can take corrective action by manually editing the pro path and using the automatic collision avoidance features. The Run Program tab also enables us to run the inspection sequence in real time on the inspection device. To run the sequence partially, select the range of items to be measured. To start the measurement of a feature on a manual device, click on the Play Item button. Power Inspect will then switch to the full screen measurement mode, displaying a dialog corresponding to the type of item being measured. Probe the points required and click the OK button to accept the points and close the dialog. To stop the measurement process, click on the Cancel button at any time. To measure all items in the sequence tree, clicking the Play All button will allow the user to measure all unmeasured items sequentially. In some circumstances, if re-measurement is required, we can reset an individual item or reset all items in the tree or in a group. Power Inspect automatically generates the inspection report during playback. You can see the report at any time. It is, however, also possible to exclude an item or an entire group from the report. Power Inspect's reporting functionality is extremely versatile, enabling us to explicitly define the features to be included or excluded from the report. We can easily create customized graphical information that can be added to the report at any point, adding to the report flexibility and versatility. Exporting or printing the report is simple and intuitive. To export, click on File, then click on Export, then click on Report. Specify the file name and location and click Save. To view the report file, navigate to its location on the PC and open it using Microsoft Internet Explorer.